of course, you know, like she said, we brew on a 15 barrel system. And to explain the barrel situation is one barrel of beer is 31 gallons. So when you get a large keg of beer, it's 15 and a half gallons. Because if you had a, you know, 31 gallon keg, it'd be ginormous and probably weigh about 300 pounds. So you really couldn't move it very easily. Uh, and then you've also got your six barrel kegs, which are five gallons, a little over five gallons each. Uh, right now, you know, we're steadily busy. Uh, it's actually ramped up a lot. I remember when I initially started at the brewery, we were shipping out truck, you know, the orders for the distributor in the back of a pickup truck that had a lift gate. And now they send a box truck every week. So I've, I've been able to see it grow over the years, which is really awesome. Uh, as far as our fermentation, uh, we do L's and lagers. You know, we've got the 330 barrel fermenters, which of course we were 15 barrels at a time. So it takes us two batches to fill up a 30 barrel tank and four batches to fill up a 60 barrel tank. And initially your L's take two to three weeks to finish out and be completely finished, ready to filter and package. Loggers take anywhere from two to three weeks, sometimes four, depending on what you're brewing. Uh, like currently, we're doing our double IPA, which will be coming out. And it takes a little bit longer because it's a little higher alcohol. You know, it takes a little bit longer to ferment a higher alcohol beer. Uh, you know, of course, our old Myers bottling line is very antiquated equipment. It, uh, it's kind of like an old hot rod. So I like to explain it, you know. Runs pretty good, but you got to work on it all the time because it's constantly breaking down. You know, actually, Andy here has seen a lot of that. I think the worst thing we've had happen is we were in the middle of a bottling run, and we have a sight glass that shows the beer coming into the filler, and out of nowhere, this sight glass decides to crack, and beer just spews everywhere. And so, of course, we have a huge mess to clean up, and I, that's actually the first time that's ever happened. Uh, and we've had hose pop off in the cooler. The cooler's filled with beer, foam everywhere. So a lot of, a lot of fun stuff to clean up. Uh, about, I'd say, 75 to 85% of the brewing process is cleaning. You know, you're constantly cleaning tanks, you know, cleaning your equipment, sanitizing. If you're not sanitizing properly, then you're not really doing a very good job, and you're probably going to end up with infected beer or some type of problem down the road. Uh, as far as our keg washer goes, it was actually most of the parts from it were purchased off eBay, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, you know, it's basically it's ran by PLC. Which, for who whoever doesn't know what that is, it's a programmable logic computer, and basically it has a series of on-off switches, and you just put that into a function, and it turns it you know turns it into a program. So basically, we can set a keg on the keg washer. It'll rinse it, actually purge it from what was in the keg, rinse it, clean it, sterilize it, and then fill it with beer. And at the end of it, you have to be there to catch it. Otherwise, you spill a bunch of beer on the floor and waste a bunch of beer. 